G'day, Aussie Camp Dad. Uh, I'm just over uh, Exmouth for a uh, family holiday. Got a rod in the water, just down the beach by myself. The kids are having a bit of a sleep in. But I'm um, thinking while we're here, we've got the beach to ourselves. Just do a little bit of a rig rundown. Um, I've got the uh, 2021 Azuzu D Max, the SX. Got the, the tradey one because. Uh, Found out that it has 100 kilos uh, extra payload than the um, tub tray, so yeah, that's handy because I'm just over 100 kilos. Um, what do we got? So she's the. Uh, I'll flip her around, hang on. I'm quite sure how to do that. Um, yeah, here, yeah, cool bar. Hang on, let's try this one. Yeah, cool bar. Um, a load of steady spotties just uh, got a GME antenna. Uh, Yakima. Went with Yakima because they were the first to um Space Rack probably have them, they probably all have them now, but they were the first to do um, the roof racks for the uh, FX. They all the others went for the X-Terrain and all that first but um, piece, piece of cake now in this um, the SX there's nuts that's already in there so all you have to do is peel it back and screw it in now uh, we'll go down the side here we'll kept the tray that came the, where were it, where it, the tray that came with it um, just bought a MW lift off Toolbox canopy, uh, there's double door, so there's no rear door. I uh, don't like the idea of a rear door. Um, and then just got the horns mounted to it. I did a bit of a bit of welding myself just to um, got a 300 watt solar panel chucked up there and a couple of um, boat skids front and back. Um, just for for mountain kayaks, surfboards. So I don't think I'd ever. Throw a tinny up there, but never say never, just because um, payloads and all that sort of stuff. I do have the GVM plus upgrade on the um, on the Ute. Got that done, not pre-rego. Got it done um, after I'd put the canopy and everything like that on, so that way headers could um, just do a bit of a suspension assessment. So what they did is they put the suspension in. Front end was fine, but the back end, the leaves were sagging, so they took them out and they. They put them in the press and gave them a bit more curve, which then leveled out the ride so that way the nose was just down slightly at the front and the back end higher. The reason for that is I do tow a boat and we do have a caravan coming. Stay tuned for that one. Um, just the under tray toolboxes, they were from uh, online shop. What the hell, I'm shaking. PM canvas bag. Um, that's pretty much where all my empties go. Um, then round here. So I uh, built the 12 volt panel myself. I'm a Sparky, so it's probably like a pretty average 12 volt system because I'm not an auto Sparky. Um, 40 litre water tank that's in the canopy, built in the headboard. So that way this whole thing is designed. So if I lift it off. And drive away it's all uh, standalone got the uh, I think 170 or 150 amp hour lithium from uh, giant batteries over in Queensland ARB double compressor Bushman's 85 litre another PME product right there um, actually got uh, the, the ideas for these off cam wild while touring um, MW set of drawers, they're all right. But, you know, obviously, they're the sort of more affordable end of the market, so you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, but then we've got the Dunham Watson pantry, which is where all my stickers go. Uh, built a little shelf thing myself, so this bit slides out, tub goes in there, and then at the other end, I've got um, just the that bit, the top bit, slides into there and I've got a little prep table and all the rest of it this does have a table in it it's just 
You always need bench day. Um, tyres, we've got the Wild Peak um, All Terrain 3. Flywall, um, just because limestone country in WA um, is renowned for doing sidewalls. So, yeah, get thick sidewalls. There's all sorts of good tyres out there, but just get the thick sidewalls. Um, I've had tyres blow out on camper trailers and stuff like that before, and yeah, it's not fun. Just check the fishing rod, make sure it's not, still no fish. Um, shade, what we do for shade. Close that up. Um, 23 zero. Very affordable, very similar to the Dutch, um, or Dutchy, whatever you want to call it, product, but um, I don't know, I just found 23 zero to be the better one once I sort of compared it against a lot of things. For uh, It is standalone up to, I think it was, Oh, don't quote me like 15 knot winds or 15 kilometer winds something like that but um i've had it up in worse and it survived and i haven't broken anything on it yet i do peg it down though when i know it's going to be super windy um and yeah super easy and simple to set up that's the thing if you get gonna get an awning get one that you know is easy to set up because then you'll use it and you won't get burnt and i've got two little kids and Misses, they love shade, and if we can get down the beach with the car, we we set it up. Um, just running. What have we got up top? Four sets of maxis. I was running two. Did a trip out the. Um, oh, previous to that, did get stuck at 14 mile launching the boat, and only had two sets of max tracks, and got absolutely gassed trying to get the car out. Um, too too proud to accept a. A snatch um, and then went and bought another set so ended up with four which came in handy when we did a trip out to steep point going up that big dune um, inside I haven't really done anything with it except put in some molded um, floor mats even though it has the vinyl floors it's just handy having the floor molded floor mats to rip the um, stand out and just go around the grind so I'm on that side So they're the PhD. And then um, Safari Snorkel. All this stuff. Um, when I was getting it all quoted up, I got it quoted up by TJM, ARB, uh, quite a few other independent mobs, in, uh, even um, Iron Man and things like that. Their labour costs to fit and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I get real when I bought this, it's COVID times, it's hard to get things done, but it was opposite life that came out on top. So, shout out to the Wayne Garrett for fitting up full bar snorkel and um, the clear views. The rest of it I pretty much did myself. I, was, I do have an XTM winch. Um, still am and R and about fitting it. Yeah, I don't really do that sort of full driving, but I do see applications where a winch would be handy. And you'd rather have it than not. It's just weights. I need to check all my weights. I haven't gone through and checked them all yet. Once I do that, then I'll know whether I'm going to fit it. Um, yeah. Oh, that's the rig. I love it. It's a great little four-wheel drive. D-Maxes, they're, they're proven vehicles. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe. Hopefully we'll have some um, more content coming for you. Hopefully you like this one. Cheers.